Jason Cronin achieved a master's degree in exercise science from East Stroudsburg University of Pennsylvania. He owned and operated a wellness center in East Stroudsburg called Four Corners Health and Fitness for nine and a half years. In the last 18 years, he has, has been a personal coach for over 1,000 clients. He specializes in kid fitness, general fitness, weight loss, special needs adapted fitness, sports training, nutrition coaching, self-defense, and kickboxing. He is certified by the American College of Sports Medicine as a certified exercise physiologist. He's certified as a nutrition specialist and certified, certified by the National Strength and Conditioning Association as a strength and conditioning coach. On the side, Jason's has certified individuals and companies in CPR, AED, and first aid. He's been a part of the Mount Juliet Toastmasters Club for three and a half years. He is presently the president of his Toastmasters Club. He has been a keynote speaker on anti-bullying and plans to focus his extra time on motivational public speaking. He re relocated seven and a half years ago to Nashville and resides in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. He developed a mobile personal training company called Body Express Wellness Solutions. Body Express Wellness Solutions, the RV wellness studio that comes to you. Presently, the company has rebranded to represent a new specialized wellness offerings, both online and on location. Jason believes one should live life to the fullest. Your body is your business. This medic speech is called, Are You in Balance? Have you ever wondered how you can improve your life? Do you feel something is missing to make you feel more whole? Today, he will give you the tools to improve your life and live in balance. This is a speech you do not want to miss. It will change your life forever. Please welcome our conference chair, Jason Cronin. Thank you very much, Stephen Shaner. I'm greatly appreciated. Do you feel today at this time you are in balance? Think about it. You are probably thinking if he's asking me, can I do those crazy yoga poses or stand on one foot? Do you ever, did you ever have a car where when you were a teenager and you that car even today in order to go straight you have to turn the wheel to the left or to the right or is that car going down the road slightly crooked and vibrating all over the place i know what you're thinking you're like oh yeah um i had that car when i was a teenager believe me i had many of those cars that went crooked even though the wheel was straight do you feel like you're going left in life or right in life, even though you're trying to go straight? Before I tell you what wellness truly is, please let me see what you think. Please give me your definition of wellness in the chat for everyone to see. What is your meaning of wellness? The question is, have you, my fellow Toastmasters, are you in balance when it comes to your personal wellness? And what is your true meaning of wellness? According to SAMHSA, they define wellness as it refers to complete health rather than just your physical health. Wellness not only is being free of disease, illness, or stress, but also having a purpose in life, being emotionally healthy, taking an active involvement in your work and in your leisure time, and having joyful relationships and being happy. For many years, I thought only wellness was four main elements. Who thought? Do you, did you know that there are eight elements to wellness? But the four elements that I thought were only the main elements of wellness were physical, intellectual, emotional, and spiritual. Most people, when I talk to them, they think of only the mind and body as part of their wellness. But I'd like to share with you what physical wellness actually is. Physical wellness is recognizing the need for physical activity, diet, sleep, and nutrition. Intellectual wellness is recognizing creating abilities, finding ways to expand knowledge and skills. And let's touch base on the physical wellness a little bit. Physical wellness is, for instance, you want to become more physical in your life and also want to adapt to your surroundings. But you also got to think of yourself as a machine. If you have bad physical wellness, you may break down like a car. For instance, a car, if the engine's not working, that car will not function and go down the road. The same thing with you. If you don't have physical wellness, you won't be able to function and continue on 
to improve in the other parts of wellness. Now, intellectual wellness or mental wellness is recognizing those abilities and finding ways to expand knowledge and skills. But just think, your mental wellness is so important. Just think of a person that doesn't have strong mental wellness or has illness of different sorts. If you ever dealt with anxiety or depression or other forms of mental illness, that's a really big struggle. I, for one, dealt with social anxiety majority of my life and also performance anxiety. That's very hard to develop full wellness when you have mental illness or mental difficulties in your life. So the first thing is starting to improve your mental wellness and your intellectual wellness so that you can go on to the next stage of your wellness circle. That's emotional wellness. Mental wellness and intellectual wellness go very much hand in hand with emotional wellness. Your emotions have a lot to do with how you, how you feel, how you think, and your surroundings. Just think, your emotional wellness is who you are and how you feel and what makes you whole. The main thing emotional wellness is coping effectively with life, creating satisfying relationships. In your life, think about it. Do you have a satisfying relationship or do you have struggles that you're trying to heal from emotional wellness or scars from when you were a kid or family or a relationship? That's very important because if you can't heal that emotional wellness, it's very difficult to have complete wellness or total wellness. Some things that do help with emotional wellness is spiritual wellness. That is expanding your purpose and meaning in life. Just think, what is your spiritual wellness? It doesn't have to be religion, expanding your purpose and meaning in life. So if you focus on what is the meaning in your life, just think about what truly makes you tick or what things that you really need to focus on to make you more whole. The main thing for me is actually being part of a social group or a group that actually allows me to express my opinions and helps me talk about my emotions. And that really does help every individual become more whole with themselves to get out that emotions and also have a good group to actually talk about their feelings as well as become more spiritual and emotionally well at the same time. Most people think they're that there's only mind and body connection. But did you know that being said, it seems like there's a complete package of wellness. So if you, for instance, focus on the whole concept of wellness, after some research, I was enlightened by four more dimensions of wellness that are very few related to wellness. Most people didn't realize that there are more aspects to their wellness than the physical, intellectual, emotional, and spiritual but there are. The first of those four new elements that I learned about was environmental wellness. Environmental wellness is good health by occupying pleasant, stimulating, and it's good health by occupying pleasant and stimulating environments that support your well-being. Think about that. Since when did you feel really comfortable of where you're at? Your environmental is very, very important. Just think, when you were a kid, did you have a really good environment growing up? Are you in a good environment now that makes you feel positive and really allows you to express your emotions and be creative? Like an artist, for instance, an artist sets up their studio so they can be creative and draw and really enjoy what they're doing. Make sure your environment is healthy. If your environment is not healthy, that's something you have to work on to complete your wellness. The next is very similar to what we just heard about is occupational wellness. Now, I know money is not everything, but a person needs to find satisfaction and environment derived from one's work. If someone is not satisfied with work and super stressed every time you go into the office, I highly recommend you really look at yourself and figure, is my work the cause of all my health issues and also anything that's making you feel stressed out. I know of many people that have corporate jobs. For instance, if you're in corporate America and you said, man, if I can just leave this job and do something I enjoy doing and I can still make the same amount of money, would you do it? 
I know many people have packed up their bags from corporate America and all of a sudden opened up a coffee shop or did something else that they really, really enjoy doing because corporate America was too much for them and stressed them out to the max. Next on top of that, after financial wellness is social wellness. Oh, sorry. After occupational wellness is financial wellness. That's satisfaction with current and future financial situations. Financial wellness is a tricky one. Everyone thinks about the money all the time when they think about financial wellness. Are you satisfied of how much money you're making and at the job that you're at? Do you need to have more money to live? Do you need to feel comfortable every day to make more money? Trick is here, is financial wellness the only thing that's keeping you at your job? If so, if you're not happy, you need to find a career that does make you happy and it gives you financial wellness at the same time. And the last one of the new four dimensions is social wellness. Social wellness is developing a sense of connection, belonging and well-being well -being for support systems. Do you have a social wellness? Do you have friends in the area that you can talk to, family that you can talk to? And are you a person that stays inside a lot or gets out and talks to friends and family and socializes? I know with the COVID going on, a lot of people have changed their social wellness significantly. And for me, for one, I became more of a homebody and do most things online because of the different environment. But you still can have a social environment online, on the phone, and still go to your favorite places like the park and go other places that make you happy. Just recently, I started a podcast called Wellness Master Q&A in which the, I interview professionals in the eight dimensions of wellness. I entail the how people can actually focus on the eight different dimensions. And as the Buddhists say, to, to achieve true enlightenment. For instance, I ask each person, what was wellness in their own words? And many had very similar answers to what I originally believed. But one answer that really stuck with me, I interviewed Morgan that works at the next door, which is a women's support housing organization in Nashville, Tennessee. Morgan mentioned that one of her staff members said, wellness is having a life that you never want to leave. I'll repeat that one more time. Having a life that you never want to leave. Think about that. Do you have a life right now that you never want to leave? Having a life that you never want to leave is a life that you feel very complacent and happy and you really wake up every day enjoying. Think of your favorite place you love to go shopping. Now, ladies and guys and fellow Toastmasters, where would you love to go shopping if you had unlimited funds in your life? Someone gave you all the money in the world and you go shopping there every day, buy whatever you want, no questions asked. I would go to Lowe's because I love shopping for all my DIY projects at Lowe's. I know you're thinking out there, oh man, I would love to go to Bed Bath & Beyond or go out to buy my sports cars every day or go to any place you can go shopping. It's like a kid in the candy store, but your life should be like that. Your life should be, I want to experience everything as best as you can. I spent many years doing any of everything possible on my bucket list. I went skydiving. I went and did martial arts. I um, took classes in pottery and art, went to art studios, learned music, salsa dancing, pretty much anything to make myself feel better and to experience life in general. If there's something you really want to do, go try it. It doesn't hurt unless it's going to unless it's going to cause you to hurt yourself physically, then don't do it. But if you can experience something that will help you make your life more whole, go for it. But I like to say that just recently, many people can go off balance. I, for one, recently experienced a situation with the COVID, getting the vaccination. And after the vaccination, I had COVID in November. And after the vaccination recently, I basically had PTSD of the feelings of how it felt to have COVID. And I fell off the bandwagon. I was feeling great for six months. And then once I started getting sick again from the vaccination, I developed severe anxiety and started to feel very ill. And I just physically re finally recovered before the conference and I feel 100% better. 
But if anxiety takes over your life, that really puts a damper in your wellness as a whole. You need to take hold of yourself and focus on yourself and make sure that anxiety and depression and other aspects do not take over your life. And you need to build the different parts of wellness that I mentioned to make sure that you have a full circle of wellness. You may be suffering a little bit in the physical wellness, but have more in the social wellness. You need to balance it out, bring it down so that you have pretty much a good percentage in each element of wellness that I spoke about. For instance, do you realize that physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, environmental, occupational, financial, social wellness all need to be in your lifestyle? Those elements are very, very important for you as a person. And the question I have for you, are you in balance? After hearing that, please type in the chat what you thought about before and after if you are in balance. Are you that car going down the road, going crooked even though the wheel is straight and it's vibrating all over the place? The last question for you is, are you happy? Do you have the power to change the outcome of your destiny and bring balance and you will find happiness? You need to be whole and the key is being happy. 